everybody, it's Jessica. I'm back. Uh, it has been a hot minute since I've recorded a video, but uh, here I am. If you haven't guessed, I took a short hiatus from Grand Blue just to focus on like work and also um, just playing a bunch of other games. Uh, but, but I'm back now, and it's about 9 a.m. I've got to go work soon, so I figured uh, I would pop in and make a quick video to tell you that I'm still here. Uh, also, I figured since I'm making a video, I might as well do a box tour. Have you ever wondered what my box looks like? That sounded hella dirty. Have you ever wondered what the stuff I have looks like? Um, uh, here we go. So, uh, there's no real structure to this. I'm just gonna pop back and forth uh, and just show you what I've got. What I run. Um, my builds are a little bit out of date just because, uh, again, six month hiatus, but they're still fairly up to date. Like, they're not completely terrible. Uh, this is my fire team. Uh, typically, I run Fire Berserker. Um, so, this build. Uh, right now, I'm running Zeta. Uh, I normally run Principal, but I just, I don't know, I just want to run Zeta so I can run an all girl team because. That's that, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, because, uh, because Miss and Gray, that's why. No, uh, I don't know, I was just trying Zeta out. This was after Zeta got her rebalance and actually became pretty good. Um, Zeta for a while was like just super mediocre and then they rebalanced her so she could start doing tons of beats. Uh, but yeah, I run Sturm, Yule, either Zeta or Percival or sometimes... Um, well, that slot t tends to switch up a lot. Uh, Percival is probably the best choice for it, but I don't know. Sometimes I just don't feel like running Percy. Uh, I've got Nagisa and Tien. Tien is like, uh, Esther is like in the back row of like all my teams just because, uh, you know, placebo, but a strap rate. Uh, I, I, there's no quantifiable way to like actually tell you whether or not she works very well, but um, I don't know, she makes me feel like I get better drops, so I use her. Uh, my grid is, uh, it's a free-to-play Agni grid for the most part. Um, I don't have any Crimson Fingers. I don't know if I will be getting Crimson Fingers just because there's a lot of other stuff I want to get, but um, yeah, it's uh, an MLB Agni. And then this back row I run for all my teams. Um, uh, these uh, support summons, uh, Dark Angel Olivia, uh, Athena, Vortex Dragon, which I need to actually FLB because um, I think they released the four star uncap while I was um, on hiatus. Do I have the materials for this? Ooh, I do almost have the materials for this. Oh, blue sky crystals. I need so many more blue sky crystals. I just I, I just five star uh, six, so I. I spent a lot of blue star, uh, blue sky crystals. Um, but yeah, so I'm running uh, two of the Xeno weapons. One is forged, the other is just four star because there's not really a reason to double forge them. Um, two of the Rise of the Beast katanas. One of them is uh, HP bonus. The other one's damage cap. Um, two Colossus canes. I wanna. Um, these are all F and B. I just wanna at some point maybe switch these up for like an x or like um, that new Prometheus staff that came out that looks really good. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's I've got the Seraph weapon of course. It's skill level 9 because, oh my god, Behemoth skill leveling, or sorry, Bahamut skill leveling is the worst. And uh, all my other ones are, like for the other elements, are like at 1 or 2. So someday I will max this out, but it's not going to be today. And then I've got three Athena Spears. Um, there's one that's almost MLB, and then the other two are just zero star. It like until they get a four star uncap, it's not super important. I feel to um, to get the the MLB version, the three star version. Uh, like th that's why I use the zero star versions, because for the most part, like they're fine. Uh, they still give you the trium, which is the big reason to use them. Uh, there's a bit of an HP damage cut or an HP cut, but uh, whatever. I, I don't super... whatever, it's fine. HP cuts. I don't need HP. I do need HP, but, like, YOLO, I guess. God, it's not ironically said YOLO. I'm terrible. Uh, this is my, uh, my dark teams. Um, let's look at the grid first. Uh, it's... 
MLB Hades, because uh, I'm a stinking whale. Uh, I run. Stinking crap, I not switch around. I usually run Elysium with the Rise of the Beast um, Dark Harp. Uh, this thing is so good. I mean, I don't know if you've ever looked into like what it actually does, but it's like a full just like it is full clear for like everybody for all parties every time you uh you oogie every time you charge attack which is just bonkers because that means you're just constantly like pulling debuffs off people um also it makes you immune to skills uh see sk that ah, skill ceiling debuffs that's hard to say and boost your debuff rate and your skill damage cap so it's good stuff um it's probably i would say if you're gonna get one of the was it Quillen? Rise of the Beast weapons, that's probably the one you want if you're gonna run Elysian at all. And Elysian's still super strong, so. Uh, there's some flex right now in my Dark Grid. I'm not sure w exactly what I want to do. Again, Stinking Whale, so 3, fo three FOB uh, plus 99 Gislas. If you don't know, Gisla is, the, is my girlfriend, but also Gisla is. Uh, <laughs> Gisla's kind of the core of the the whale uh, dark grid. It's um, big boost to dark attacks, including my two, but it's also got enmity, uh, medium enmity on it. So uh, you run in conjunction with like Claws and obviously Zoe, who can drop uh, your health to one, and then you're just hitting for damage cap all the time. It's, it's real good. Um, I run one Cerberus gun. Uh, I might like replace a Cortana with another Cerberus gun. It's just, holy shit. Cerberus farming is the worst. Um, it, it, it's the worst. <laughs> it takes so long. Want to die when I do it. Um, I'm using the Quillen bow right now. I'm not sure if this is the ideal uh, weapon to use, uh, but I do like it because it increases my damage cap. Also, it's a massive bonus instead of a big bonus. So, it, I mean, it's probably fine. There's probably a marginal gain I could get if I if I really optimize. I use a program called Motocal to um, optimize my damage. I just haven't lately uh, since there's been a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, if I wanted to change one thing, I've got I've got two Blood Gangs, which is um, Apollonia, a uh, Black Knight's uh, sword. Uh, these now have a four-star uncap, and you get um, you get. A, a big boost, or like a massive boost to dark attack, and then a small boost to dark attack, and then a small boost to crit. So these are pretty good, actually. Like, this is a really solid one. It's no Merglace, it's no Catalina Sword with Creum, but like, I would contest that this, the double attack on this thing is uh, pretty solid. Uh, that said, uh, I've got the Damascus to do it, uh, if you're wondering. Um, I just haven't, because my Dark Grid's already pretty strong. And I kind of want to use my Damascus on something else, like Merglice, to just buff up my water grid, so I have, like, just... It, it, because it's a rainbow meta! Uh, because I want to, um... Just have more diversity in terms of what kind of teams I can run. Uh, I'm using the Degeta Summer... Uh, the swimsuit skin for Degeta. Uh, let's look at my skins while I'm at it. Uh, I've got a bunch of skins for Degeta. I've got her uh, idol skin. I've got the the Blu-ray skin with a voice. I actually really like this one. This one's super cute, especially since she's got a voice. Ah, she is so cute. I should cosplay to Cheetah, but my hair is too long. Mm. Uh, I've got the super whale Rin suit skin, obviously. Uh, but let's just put it back to the swim suit skin for now. And I've got the Attack of Titan skin, which. You know, one skin I'm missing for Vegeta is actually the Platinum Sky one, the the racing suit, which I am gutted by, because I, I didn't realize that event, uh, that was during my hiatus, and I didn't realize the event had a skin, or I would have done it, <laughs> but um, whatever, next year, I guess. So, moving right along, let's talk about my team. Uh, I always run Zoe, I'm using the Visa, Visa Chan skin, the skin you get. So, you can get... If you didn't know, Zoe uh, originally was a promotional character you could only get through getting a Grand Blue Fantasy Visa in Japan, and that gets you Light Zoe, uh, which is the skin I'm using. Uh, she's not great, but like she's kind of a pain to get since you actually have to get a Japanese credit card. 
I, I did not get a Japanese credit card, I just got a code from somebody, but there you go. Um, I'm running Narmaya and Six right now. Uh, these slots tend to flex a lot. Sometimes I run Orchid. Um, sometimes I run... Um, yeah, let me just pull up the characters. Sometimes I run uh, Vera, depending on if I need the Veil or not. Uh, another one that sometimes flexes in is um, uh, either Zeta or Kag or uh, Apollonia. It just it just really depends. Like dark ha dark characters are essentially m for the most part all like super um, beefy attackers. Uh, oh, dark G dark gene is also really good. Uh, but there's enough subtle differences in the situations you want to use them in uh, that uh, there's some flex in the slots. Um, but this is just my everyday farming uh, farming setup. Uh, five star six. I five star six because I use six all the time. Uh, his five star is it's not the strongest five star uh, Guild Wars character um, Eternal. But it is still really strong because it may, like it, it, it's not obvious from looking at it. Um, but all these like all these skills ramp faster, so he gets his damage bonus a lot faster. Um, also, he can dodge for like days, so uh, he's, he's solid. I mean, uh, if you're running dark, you really don't have any other choice uh, for an eternal, just because dark only gets one. So does fire, because <laughs> reasons. Um, and again, uh, Esser in the back row. Uh, I'm thinking about 5-starring Esser. I don't actually know what, like, what Guild Wars character I'm going to get slash 5-star next. So, uh, let's move right along. Earth, I've... Earth is actually, like, maybe my second strongest team, randomly. Um, I have a Mahira, um, I run, uh, Haley and Air, uh, Kag, of course, and then a Adilafil in the back, just getting some chips, uh, which she's yet to jackpot me, but uh, <laughs> uh, someday. I'm running, uh, what the hell is your name? Godsworn Alexiel? Yeah, Godsworn Alexiel, uh, the 120 Earth, uh, which I was super happy to get, because I was running um, uh, Tezcat before, the one where you need different types of characters, and that that's just or different races of characters, and that's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> like, it super limits your uh, your build choices, so it's super happy to roll Alexiel. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Mahira, uh, Haley, and Air, um, they put out the sick Mega Deeps. Um, my build is just a Magna Earth build, so um, uh, the Gaia Swords. I've got a uh, FLB Greatsword Andalius for the damage uh, cap increase. Occasionally relevant. Uh, and then, yeah, just a Seraph weapon, Rose, uh, Rose Queen, or, uh, Spear, Harp, etc. Again, the same back row. I, I run the same back row just because these are my FLB ones, and they also have strong stats, um, just because, uh, like, they're good stat sticks. And they've got like decent like calls. So Olivia is a delay. Plus, uh, she increases your, uh, she decreases your um, skill cooldowns by a turn. Um, Vortex Dragon is a def uh, defense boost. Athena is a damage cut plus a refresh. And Apollo, this is not Apollo. Wait, no, this is Apollo. Is this Apollo? Oh yeah, it is Apollo. <laughs> God, uh, it's been a while. Uh, Apollo is a damage boost plus a veil. So, like, they're all really solid utility ones. Uh, it, it's nice because I don't have to run carbuncles. Um, moving right along, light, uh, I run... Um, I run any combination of, like, G G Jeanne d'Arc, uh, Lucio, Fairy, Juliet, um, Sophia for the res in the back row. Uh, I, I might change this one a up, actually, just because... Um, some of these characters have started to fall off meta. Uh, like, Fairy's not, like, outside of Strike Time, Fairy's kind of clunky to use. And I'm going to be getting uh, Grand Vera. Uh, <laughs> bold claim, but I. I uh, Vera is me. Like, if you follow me for any amount of time, you know Vera, who's right here, uh, is my favorite character. Uh, she's a huge, crazy blonde lesbian, just like me. Um, uh, 
the category ship. It's life. But um, I'm probably going to be sparking Vera whenever she comes around again. I missed the flash gotcha for Grand Vera when she came around in November. Uh, so yeah, I will be sparking Vera. Um, I will probably stream that or record a video of that, so stay tuned if you want to see me spend a lot of money to try and get my my L3 go in game. Uh, light, I run uh, primarily for light. I run a gunslinger build, so something like this um, with uh, the Nebu. How you say this? Nebucod Lumen, the light Nebucod. Uh, it's the one that like reloads your your gun on uh, a charge attack, which is super useful. Otherwise, you're reloading all the all the time. It's really annoying. Also, it gives you a pretty strong boost to your damage from the crit. Like I can hit for damage cap pretty easily on like gunslinger. I hate how you, when you back up it moves you back a team. Uh, uh, I've got all of the Huanglong weapons, the Rise of the Beast weapons. Right now I'm using the Claw. Uh, sometimes I use the Katana, it's just kind of a pain to maintain the Katana buff, especially if you're racing. Uh, the super awkward thing is, like, I've got all these guns. Um, these three are FLB, this one is MLB, I just need to FLB it. I just, I, I've been on the fence whether or not I want to do it, just because I will eventually replace guns with swords so that I get them, and I don't know if I want to waste the gun stones. Uh, the super awkward thing though is like I'm running, so I've got um, Luminera uh, or Chevalier, whichever version. Why do they have completely different names between the English version and the Japanese version? I don't understand. Luminera is Chevalier, basically, so that's why if someone talks about Chev swords, uh, they mean Luminera swords. Um, but yeah, I've got I run Luminera just because uh, it's easier to find uh, Lucifer. Uh, friend than it is to find a Lunera friend for some reason. So um, I usually run the the Manga plus Lucifer build. Uh, the thing that's super awkward though is I have <laughs> I have an MLB Zeus. I didn't spend any Sunlight Stones on this. I just happen to pull Zeus a ton, uh, and I don't have uh, I have one <laughs> I have one Chev Sword. It, it kills me. Like, I really want to run uh, a Zeus build, but, like, I think literally the only thing I have that, that really benefits much is, like, the Chev Sword. Also, the, like, the build is, like, five or six Chev Swords. Uh, I guess you could use Io Stabs, which I don't have, um, but, uh, gah. <laughs> I, they're finally buffing the, the rate at which Chev Swords would drop, I believe, uh, today, after reset, I think? So, like, maybe I'll, I'll get closer to building that, but it is such a nosebleed to try and get Shove Swords, as any light player would know. Uh, water. So I've got two water builds. Um, this is, uh, this should be a, um, let me grab a different character. This should be, uh, the staff. I, j I just got this, so, at the very end of my hiatus, uh, Xeno Coictus, however you say that, Cockatus, Coictus, came up, at the Xeno Water Staff, and um, I came back specifically to get it, because I didn't want to pass it up. There you go. It should look like that. Um, but yeah, this is just a Magna Water Build, um, pretty standard, uh, FLB Daggers, um, uh, Ancient Oberon's, uh, I don't know if Oberon is like super strong anymore, but I'm running him because I have him. Uh, I might replace some daggers, I'm not sure. Uh, I might not do anything with this Magna build actually just because um, I have a Varuna and I want to run a Varuna build. Uh, I just need Fimbles. So these are regular Oberons, um, which benefit from Varuna. Um, and then I've got... Yeah. I really hate how it switches out like that. Uh, I've got a Merglace. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the true whale build is like five Merglaces. I think the more reasonable whale build is three Merglaces. So let's hope I draw a Merglace when I spark um, Vera. Uh, but my Varuna build would probably be like like two, like one or two Merglaces. Uh, I would switch out the Scarlet Vein for. Um, 
probably the Fist from Rise of Beasts, the one that gives you Echo. Either that or, like, another Hammer. Uh, some of these Oberons have become Fimbles, but uh, same caveat with the Cerberus gun, Fimble is a huge nosebleed to farm. But, uh, uh, I might do it. I might do it. I might do it. Especially since Fimble has Fim in the name, and I love them. Shout out. <laughs> uh, my win team is probably my weak. My light team or my win team is probably my weakest team. Um, I'm running uh, Sketch, Sk Skatasha, Sketch. I just call her Sketch. I have no idea how to say it. Uh, Andira, Korwa, uh, Gwen, Lena. I still need to five star Lena because I'm super lazy. But I, I almost never run wind. Um, just I don't. I just I don't enjoy wind. Uh, I think the big thing is I don't like how Korwa plays. Uh, like, Korwash is super clunky. Uh, I know, like, the meta has been moving in a direction where people are using Neo instead of Korwa, uh, the Eternal, but I don't have any, uh, so sad times. Uh, Kor Korwa is fine. Korwa is still really strong. It's just Korwa is clunky to use. Uh, I'm running, for this build, I'm running uh, actually all wind summons for, um, what's his face, Karula. Uh, since he's basically Win Bonito, uh, he needs all Win summons to get maximum benefit. Uh, I, 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 I feel like I would like Win more if they had a 120 summon or something. Uh, I've got the Primal for Win, but again, Primal for Win requires a really specific build. Uh, so my Win build right now is just um, just guns. It's Emily guns. That's why I've got the Cosmo gun. Uh, it's decent. Uh, the one issue I have with Wind is like like all Emnity, Emnity builds, it doesn't hit for much unless you're low health. Unlike Dark, however, and in a lot of situations these days, Fire, uh, Wind doesn't really have a good way of lowering its HP. Uh, Scatch can do it, and Derek can kind of do it with her heal in a weird way, because you can use her heal to debuff yourself to take extra damage, but that's kind of dangerous and also clunky. So yeah. Um, I feel like Wind needs like a revisit. Also, I don't have the Wind um, Xeno weapon. I'm not even sure if the Wind Xeno weapon would be useful to run. Uh, I have the Attack on Titan Snapblade, um, which I need to level. Uh, but right now I'm running the Balance Cosmo weapon instead of um, instead of uh, an EX weapon. So uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll use Snapblade. Snapblade is actually a pretty good uh, main hand weapon. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm doing Gwent. Wind is my least favorite color right now. Element. Uh, other teams I have just on... Okay. Fine game. Um, other teams I have on my final tab are just like... Um, just, just random teams I use for situations. Like, there's my Slime Blasting team. Uh, it's just, uh, since you can solo Slime Blast now, I should update the video, actually. Um, I use the Dark Gene Sword and I just solo Slime Blast level characters. Uh, I have, my farming team is typically, like, um, the Bandit Tycoon uh, plus Esther in the back row. Sometimes I run uh, Kagura. Is this Kagura? Is that your name? God, it's been so long I've forgotten. Kaguya, that's your name. Uh, for the extra the bonus 20% drop rates, which is actually huge. Uh, it's just, she doesn't really have a damage buff, so... Uh, I mean, she kind of does in that she buffs your double attack, but... Sometimes I'm lazy, because, like, using Kagura as your main summon actually makes fights take longer. Uh, so, uh, sometimes I use the double Kagura, sometimes I just run Hades, and I grab a friend Kagura. Sometimes I just don't. <laughs> just depends. I'm wild to do what I want. Uh, so a more general look at my, my stuff. Um, Characters-wise, I've got most of the dark S uh, SSRs. Um, I have most of the SSRs in general. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Uh, I I hesitate to call myself a whale because I feel like when you whale in Grand Blue, like it's the ma like it's just the magnet. Like a true whale in Grand Blue spends like ridiculous amounts of money. I have spent. A lot of money in Dread Blue, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I don't know if I'm at whale levels. I'm probably a whale, I guess. I'm a small whale. 
I'm an orc guy. Um, but yeah, so dark characters. I've got most of them. I'm missing uh, Azazel, I think his name is. The new dark character that just came out. Uh, I'm not too fussed about that, uh, just because like he's another dark attacker, and I, dark has tons of attackers. Um, but yeah, uh, Vera, uh, my love, is usually my starred character, but right now it's Zoe. Um, I sparked Orchid a while back just because um, Apollonia was getting lonely and I had to bring her girlfriend. As far as uh, light characters go, um, I've got most of them too. I missed out on the free light SSR from the Samurai event, uh, whatever. Um, I did get um, Sakura though, because of course I did. Uh, that was during my hiatus, but I popped in to get her. Um, I think the, the light character I want most I don't have is uh, probably Grand Vera. Though I, I, I hear I hear Io now after her buff is pretty good also. As far as win characters go, um, I'm mi I'm actually missing a lot of the good win characters. Like I'm missing Alicia. Um, actually, Alicia is debatably good. I guess she's she's strong. It's just like how generally useful she is is debatable, I suppose. Um, I'm missing the like I'm the only Guild Wars characters, the only Eternals I have are Six and Tien. Uh, I might get Neo at some point, but I've got Rosetta, uh, Andira, Korwa. Like I've got the the really important ones. I'm just missing a few of the the fun ones. And Netian, I think, is the the SR from Platinum Sky. That one's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, Again, I miss Platinum Sky completely. Uh, these are my Earth characters. Uh, I sparked Mahira a while back. <laughs> my dad plays Red Book Fantasy. I mentioned this before. And he has Mahira, and when I was visiting him, I was looking through his box, and he had Mahira benched. And I'm like, oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? He, he had, like, um... I forgot his name. The Earth Daddy character. What, the f what is his name? Uh, Ugin. He had Ugin, like, SR Ugin on his front line, and he wasn't running Mahira. I'm like, like, what are you doing? This hurts. This hurts me. <laughs> uh, I've got both Eususes. Uh, Eusus is fun. I was using him more when, uh, also Siegfried, when I was doing Tezcat, but, uh, not anymore since I'm just not using Tezcat, so I don't need the variety. Uh, now I'm racist, and I just run, I just run humans and primals. Uh, Sarah is, like, one of the first characters, I um, I think I, I want to say I subtext her, uh, just because she was really good, but like I feel like the meta has shifted away from being super defensive, so she's she's only all right these days. So the meta like seemed like, the meta for a while when I was playing was like don't worry about defense, just kill them as fast as possible. That's changed a bit with Ultimate Dominant coming out. Uh, you actually do need to be a little bit defensive now, uh, but yeah, uh, water. Um, I just subtext uh, Water Yule because I needed my lesbian Water Fox to go with Sushet, her girlfriend. Uh, I actually sparked, as far as uh, fire goes, um, I sparked Sturm because uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm an idiot, I guess. I don't know. Sturm's good. Sturm's good. Don't get me wrong. I just. That, I, I double sparked during that. Um, okay, maybe I am a whale. I double sparked during that <laughs> that le leg fest um, I for Orchid and for Stern. Just it's a long story. I just I'm weak. Okay, gotcha games are like my bane. So yeah, that's the story behind that. Uh, oh right, light characters I wanted to show you. This is Visa Chen. This is uh, regular Zoe in all her glory. Um, She's okay. She's not great. She's meant to be run with Grande, the Grande summon, which I have. It's just Grande builds aren't very strong. Like I don't think anybody runs Grande builds because uh, she boosts. She gets a booster stats based on the different elements among allies. Uh, so you need to run a mixed element team, which really you would only run with Grande, uh, or in some instances some weird Korwa builds. Um, but yeah, she's got. A nuke that increases her her hostility. She's got two at mirror image, and then she's got like light damage, fuzz, ram effect. Spatial rupture is interesting. 
it increases, I think, multi-attack chance for everything on the field. Um, that I think that's the most unique thing you can get from uh, from Visa and Zoe. But yeah, I mean, hopefully someday they make her better. Uh, I, I tend to feel like they're in this place where promotional characters they don't really buff. So like. Uh, Visa, Zoe, uh, Medusa from the phone plan, um, uh, while we're talking about it, uh, where are you? Dark Catalina from, uh, from the, uh, the anime, uh, just cause, uh, people would get super annoyed probably if you had to, like, get a Visa card to get a competitive character, but that said, uh, Dark Cat actually has some uses just cause she is like one of the few ways to get a, a damage cut, especially on SSR for Dark. So Dark Cat's not actually that bad. She can she she's more utility. The, the main problem with Dark Cat is like she's not like an overwhelming attacker, and uh, most Dark characters are overwhelming attackers, so she suffers suffers by comparison. So that's all of my characters. Uh, if we want to talk about summons real quick. Um, my summons box is a mess. Uh, I've got a, I've got a bunch of Athenas. Um, Athena is actually, I think, I would say, like, she's not impressive as a main summon, obviously, but she's probably one of the most useful, like, uh, calls you could have. Just the damage cut plus the refresh is really nice. Uh, I've got a Makula at um, MLB. I will four star him on the, her. Her. Yeah, Makula's girl. Uh, uh, eventually. Um, just haven't got around to it. I, I really want a Europa, obviously. <laughs> but uh, someday, I guess. Oh, team lesbian. Uh, let's see. As far as Earth goes, um, I have all the primals again. OK, I'm definitely a scumbag whale. Like, I, I, now that I think about it, I'm definitely a whale, I guess. I'm just not as whaley as some whales. But um, uh, tight, I've thought about building Titan. It's just why is Gumbo not favorited? Uh, I've thought about building Titan. I just hesitant because um, Meng Earth is is also fine. Uh, plus, I have Alexia, so I don't really need to build Titan. Uh, wind. Uh, my sounds are pretty unimpressive for wind. I've got um, Zephyrus. But again, in order for Zephyr to be good, you've kind of got to have a lot of Love Eternals from Rosetta. And uh, good luck getting them, I guess. Uh, as far as light goes, I mentioned this earlier. Um, I need to 5-star Vortex Dragon. Or 4-star Vortex Dragon. Uh, I want to run Zeus. I have a MLB Zeus, but just no Chef Swords sad times. I have a metric crap ton of uh, Dark Angel Olivia's. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, a friend told me that Thor and Typhon are actually like useful now for Ultimate Bahamut. Uh, so luckily I didn't actually reduce my Thor. I thought I had. I was a little bit worried, but I checked and I didn't. This truly hurts me, the fact that I have an extra... I Sunlight Stoned Hades up to three stars, and then I drew another Hades. I'm like, no, I want to die. <laughs> um, I do have one Quillen. Uh There's Typhon. Caglio, my favorite. But yeah, that's all the summons. Uh, if you want to look at my stash real quick, uh, I've got a ton of SSR weapons stashed away, um, just in case I need fodder. Uh, I actually do use gotcha SSR weapons as fodder instead of reducing them, unless they're guns, uh, just because I have enough of all the stones, so it's not that big a deal. Except for gun stones. Gun stones are still a little bit annoying. Interesting here. Not really. It's just a bunch of random SSR weapons. Um, two, zo two summer Zoe bows. I had like six Dark Caglia stats at one point. I, I fed them all to like level things up, but <laughs> I was lousy with Dark Caglia stags. Staffs. Uh, yeah. As far as uh, other interesting things go. I've got this little stash. So I am really, I would not call myself a hoarder. Some people might, but um, I have trouble throwing away things that I think might be potentially good. And it paid off 
because I kept all of the Grand Series weapons. Um, so like Blood Gangs, Love Eternal. Uh, Love Eternal is super strong. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I kept them all uh, in hopes that they would buff them, and they did. <laughs> they buffed all, they're buffing all the Grand Series weapons. Uh, one at a time, so like I'm still waiting for a buff for Orchid's weapon. Um, and I've got two Edens from uh, Lucio, and I've got three Grang Spheres randomly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm super hoping they, they buff the crap out of all these things and uh, holding onto them. And then these are like weapons from the. I think they're from the man manga? They're from. They're from some. Like the light novel or something. Uh, and then there's the written weapons, which you can get from some magazines. They're super cute. But yeah, that's pretty much all my stuff of interest. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video now, because I've run out of stuff to show you. Uh, as far as um, new videos, New Year's special. Oh yeah, the New Year's special. Like, if you <laughs> just randomly. This, they, they super hyped this up, and um, it was. I to me it met expectations because like basically you do a roll every day to see how many 10 rolls you get and you could potentially get 10 10 rolls in a day i mean if you were like the luckiest person ever you could get 100 10 like you get 10 10 rolls so 100 draws over the course of this event which is just bonkers uh so like if you haven't been logging on like starting the day definitely log on so you get your 10 rolls just psa Anyways, as far as future videos go, uh, I will start making more of them. Uh, I'm just trying to get situated and figure out like, what videos people actually want, uh, and I'm also catching up on some of the meta changes uh, since it's been a while since I've played. But yeah, that's my box. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Um, bye.